Hey guys, this is our previous gallery project. Today we are going to add this button to download the image to our local computer. In this drop menu, if the user is the owner of this photo, he can see the delete button as well. But if he is not the owner, he can just see the download button. So let's check this button here. We can see that the image has been downloaded and we can open it here. And also we are going to replace our old Lightbox package because it is not working on React 18 anymore. We are going to replace it with a new package. And this is how it looks. We can from here zoom in and zoom out. And this is the name of the user and the email here down. And you can zoom as well by double click on the image. And from these navigation arrows, you can go to the next photo or to the previous photo. This is our gallery. And these photos added by the users. So let's get started. Let's go to the images list component. This options component is responsible for the drop down menu. We can here add more props, the user ID and the image URL, because we need the user ID to check if the user is the owner of this image and the photo URL to download the photo. So let's pass them here. We extracted them from the record of the image from our database. This is the array of our images documents. We brought this array from Firestore database and through this loop, we extracted these items one by one. So this is the item and the index of the document. Here, let's remove this condition. We don't need it here. We will replace it inside our options component. And let's remove it here. We don't need it anymore. And this as well. And let's save and go to options. Let's extract our props, UID and image URL. And here we've already had our current user from the global context. This is our menu. Let's copy this menu item. And let's replace this icon with download icon from Material UI. And replace the text to be download. Here we are going to add a function. We are going to call it handle download. And let's add the condition we've just removed from images list component to check if the user is the owner of the image. We will check if the current user ID is the same ID inside the document of the image. This UID is the one we just added in the props. And let's drag this menu item inside this condition. Now let's create our function handle download. It is a sync function because we are going to use fetch here. Let's add a try and catch here and request to fetch the image using image URL. Let's pass it here. And let's change the image into blob using await response to blob function. And here let's create object URL from the data. We are going to create a new element, anchor element or link, because we are going to use it to download this image. And let's assign the blob to the href of this link. Link download, we are going to use the image name. Image name, we stored it inside the image ID. Now let's set trigger the click on this link. This link is only in the memory of the DOM. It is not on the page. Now let's remove this blob object from the memory to release the space. And also we are going to remove the link. We don't want to add them every time to our memory without removing them. And in case of error, let's copy this from the delete function. 
and let's save and check. Here we can see download and delete because this user is the owner of this image but in the other photo we can just see download. Let's try to download this image. It is not working, failed to fetch. It is because of the cross origin or cross site policy. Let's check the error in the console. Yeah, it is the course policy. Firebase storage did not allow us to access this resource. So let's go to Google Developers Console, console.cloud.google, and from here choose your right project. In our case, this is the project gallery testing. Let's go to open the shell from this icon. We are going to write here some easy commands to allow our sites to access the storage on Firebase. First, let's create JSON file in the buffer using this command nano course.json. This is the file. We are going to add here JSON object. Origin, we are going to allow our local host and our link on Firebase hosting. But if you have a real domain, you can add it here. But if you want to allow access from any site, you can just add here star or asterisk. I don't recommend that because it is not secure. In my case, I am going to add here our links. It is not also secure to add local host, but this is just for testing. Let's copy it from here. And let's separate them by comma and add the other link. This is our link on Firebase hosting. And let's add the method. In this case, it is only get method. And the max live time in seconds, 2600. And from here, you can exit using Control X from the keyboard. Now press Y for yes then enter to save it under name course.json now let's feed this file to the rules using this command jsutl course set course.json and we are going to copy the link of our storage in firebase from this you can go to the storage and you can copy this link from this icon and let's paste it here and enter. Now we've changed our access rule. So let's check again. Let's try to download the same image. Now it is working. This is our image and we can open it here. Now let's go back and work on the new Lightbox package. Let's install it. npm install react image Lightbox. And let's go to package JSON to remove the old package. We don't need it to stay here. And let's save and go back to our images list component. And let's remove it from here. Don't need it anymore. Replace it with empty fragment. And let's close it here. And let's delete the import line from here. Let's import our new package. And let's import the style for this package. Let's add here two states for this package. First state is open. This will control the open state of this package. The default value is false. It is closed by default. And let's add another state, photo index, to hold the index of the open photo in the array or the list. And the default value is zero, the first image. Now let's add the component here. We will add the condition if it is open. And let's add the component lightbox. 
let's add the props of this component the first prop is main source we are going to assign it to the URL of the first photo we are going to use our documents array that holds our images we've received this array from Firestore and we looped through these images to create our list so here we are going to use the state photo index to extract the URL from this document and the next source it will be the URL of the next image let's copy this and just add here plus one to this photo index and the remainder of dividing this by the length of the document we need this because when we reach the end of the list and that is the length of the document we are going to go back to the first image or photo on the previous source let's copy this it will be the same just we are going to add here the document.length because we don't want it to be minus it will be the same it will loop through the images and let's add here minus one to get the previous image and on close we are just going to set is open to false to close this component or model and on move next request that means when you click on the next arrow we are going to change the photo index we'll use the old photo index plus one and we will get the remainder after we divided this by documents dot length it is the same as the next source just in this case this is triggering the action and the next source of prop is uploading the image using the image url and in move the prev request let's copy the same function and update it to be plus documents dot length minus one it is the same calculation of the previous source and let's add the image title it will be the username we are going to extract it from the documents using photo index the data to choose a name and let's copy it for the image caption we are going to use here the email of the user and let's go to the image to add on click action so when we click on this image we are going to open this component or this uh, light box on a click we are going to set the photo index state to the index of this image and we are going to set is open to true set photo index index we added this index when we looped through the documents this is the index and let's set is open to true to open this component let's save and check let's click on this photo here is our light box it is working correctly we can zoom in by double click or through these icons this is the name and this is the email and using navigation arrows we can go to the next photos or to previous photos and when we reach the first one we go to the last one it is like a loop and we can test also by clicking on any random image let's click on this here's the same image our functionality is working correctly so see you guys in our upcoming video.